Mesner effect uh, uh, I will discuss uh, in this particular section uh, myself uh, Dr. Sushil Kumar and uh, for more information about other physics video lecture you can visit uh, apniphysics.com or uh, you can like my facebook page apniphysics.com so now the point is about the Meissner effect in the earlier video I had discussed about the critical magnetic field critical temperature and the critical current now in this particular section I have to first of all discuss about this Meissner effect which uh, was discovered by Meissner and Ossenfeld in 1933 when the superconductor cooled to a temperature below the transition temperature in the presence of magnetic field he observed that the magnetic field lines of induction were repelled away by the superconductors so this particular phenomena is known as the Meissner effect for an example if uh, this is a superconducting material which is cooled down in this particular apparatus and this apparatus is kept in the presence of external magnetic field this is the external magnetic field so here the temperature is below the critical temperature so you will observe perfectly superconducting states in this particular superconductor and what the Meissner and Ossenfeld said he says that instead of this when T is greater than Tc all the magnetic field line passes through the superconductors but when T is less than Tc then magnetic field lines repel from the superconductors it passes like this way right so this particular phenomena is known as Meissner effect in the Meissner effect you have observed that no magnetic field lines passes through the superconductor when the condition is T is less than Tc so next slide we will see about it but before that I want to rewind or revise this transition temperature what is that here you can see uh, this is the intensity of the magnetic field and this axis is for the temperature the relation between them is like this so at this particular point you that is the critical temperature the magnetic field is equal to zero so at T is equal to Tc hc is equal to zero so this t c is known as the critical temperature and this hc is the uh, critical magnetic field value so the point is about the superconducting states below the critical temperature you observe the superconducting states all these states are superconducting state and it means that here resistivity for the super electrons is equal to zero if resistivity is zero electrons can flow easily from one point to the other point and that situation is known as the superconducting states so again the phenomena of exclusion of the magnetic flux from the interior of a superconducting superconductor 
below the transition temperature is called the Meissner effect. Here, the first situation when T is greater than T C, magnetic field line can pass through the superconductor. And here, the second situation when T is less than T C, then magnetic field line is repelled by the superconductor. This portion is of the superconductor. This is also superconductor. But when temperature is greater than the critical temperature, what is happening? The magnetic field line passes through the superconductor. And here, when temperature is less than the critical temperature, in that situation, what is happening? Magnetic flux is repelled by the superconductor. Now, the question that is very important: Why superconductors does not allow the external magnetic field? what is the reason of that the reason is because the induced magnetic dipole produce inside the superconductors which oppose the applied magnetic field right so in the superconductors what happens you have the basic idea of uh, superconductors uh, or magnetic materials in which uh, the magnetization we define with the help of mu that is the magnetic moment and total magnetization of any magnetic materials we define with the help of capital m so this magnetization we define with the help of dipole moment and ultimately that is defined magnetic dipole right so the explanation of it why the superconductors repel the external magnetic field line is reason is because due to the induced magnetic dipoles that produce inside the superconductors and these oppose the applied magnetic field now in the next slide uh, we will see the effect of it uh, so we know that for superconductors b is equal to 0 meissner says that inside the magn uh, inside the superconductors b is equal to 0 there is no magnetic flux right so according to that definition we know uh, b is equal to mu not h plus i where h is the magnetic field intensity and i is the magnetization so if b is equal to 0 by putting this value in this equation you will get mu not h plus i is equal to 0 so here are two things either mu not is equal to 0 or this h plus i sum of these is equal to 0 but mu not cannot be 0 so the second term is equal to 0 it means h plus i is equal to 0 it means that h is equal to minus of i if we have to define the susceptibility so we know that chi is equal to i upon h by putting the value of i or h here we observe that chi is equal to minus 1 if chi is equal to minus 1 it indicate that superconductors are superconductors are what are these what type of magnetic materials are superconductors these are diamagnetic paramagnetic or ferromagnetic here chi is equal to negative or positive here chi is equal to minus 1 so it one can conclude that superconductors are perfectly diamagnetic perfect diamagnetic 
right so this is one of the analysis from the meisner effect now the second point second point is from the ohm's law ohm's law says that e is equal to rho into j <coughs> where rho is the resistivity and j is the current density uh, we know from the superconductor that there is resistivity is equal to zero it means there is no barrier for the super electron inside the superconductors inside the material if rho is equal to zero then from the ohm's law you can conclude e is also equal to zero right so e the electric field inside the material inside the superconductors is equal to zero so there is no electric field inside the superconductor in this particular situation so now by using maxwell equation uh, you know that from faraday law del cross e is equal to minus del b upon del t this is the differential form of the faraday law and if i put this value e is equal to 0 here this left hand side becomes 0 and i observe this db upon dt is equal to 0 and from it one can conclude that the differentiation of b with respect to time is equal to 0 it means b is constant b is constant inside the superconductors why because rho is equal to 0 and from here you conclude that e is equal to 0 if you use ohm's law for the conductor and then after if you apply the faraday law from faraday law you can conclude that magnetic field is constant inside the superconductor so in the earlier slide you said that b is equal to 0 meisner said that b is equal to 0 inside the superconductor and now in this particular slide you are saying that b is constant so here we the conclusion we conclude uh, the contradiction about the meisner effect right so there is contradiction between these two analyses meisner effect says that b is equal to 0 from the ohm's law it says that b is constant so how to solve this uh, problem this contradiction this we will discuss into the next slide